everyone, Will here from Mature Mighty Gamers, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing for Descent Legends of the Dark, an absolutely massive box. Not of those full, but we'll be showing you really what that means here in a second. So let's go ahead and crack the box open, but first I want to talk about this art. I love how the outside of this box looks. I'm not a super fan of how some of the character cards look, but I think... Uh, I think... I think the art looks really cool. I like the stained glass window look on the side here. Um, and it goes all the way around. Now, if you notice, this lid does not go all the way down. Just fits over the top here. But I think that's actually pretty cool with the stained glass look. And show you the bottom of the box here real quick. That is really neat looking. I think this game is going to have some really cool table presence. Um, so this one, three to four play, or excuse me, three to four hours, one to four players, completely cooperative. You need four packs of the green card from Game Genic, which is the company that took over for Fantasy Flight and their sleeves and everything. So it does require a free digital app to play. So let's dive into this massive box and see what is inside. So first off, we've got the Learn to Play book, which 32 pages total. Standard Fantasy Flight contents, the fundamental concepts, you got setup, you got some sight tokens, playing a quest, Heroes Attack. Some of this art looks okay. I mean, the character art is definitely where it's lacking. I mean, that guy looks pretty awesome, though. I think that, that guy looks really cool. There's a bunch of blank space here in this book. That looks pretty neat. I mean, I think, you know, there's some of the character cards we're going to see here in a minute that don't look great, but I like, I like some of this other art they have in, in this book here. Lots of examples. I do like that. Campaign rules, beats, virtues, campaign map, credits on the back, and quick reference. I love it when, when they have that in the back here. Now, is there, in this, there is no specific index that I saw, so let's see if that's going to be, oh, lore guide. Now, there's a learn to play, but they don't have the quick reference, a quick reference guide? Hmm, I bet that's what the app is really going to do. This, these two characters here, this is where the art really just doesn't do anything for me, like this character here, I don't know, it just kind of looks awkward and as everybody has said before, this helmet. What? Like, what were they thinking? I, I really want to know what they were thinking when they designed that art. But like some of these guys, like, like the dwarf looks cool. The, the cat folk looks awesome. The dragon hybrid, I, I think looks unique. I mean, you don't want to go with the standard thing every time, do you? I mean, I don't know. Big old map on the back. Howling giant hills. Highmont, the Blind Mirror Forest, Woods of Woe. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so we've got, okay, instructions for how to put the terrain together. Ooh, Dragon Wings levels. Ooh, pretty cool there. Realms of Tyranoth. All right, so talking about the RPG, just a little advertisement. All right. Ooh, first and foremost, we got some miniatures. Wow. These actually look pretty cool. Let's take this lid off and let's show off some of these minis here. Get that in the focus a little bit here. All right. These guys actually look pretty neat. Let's take one of these guys out of here. Ooh. Very spiky. Man. Oh no, that looks pretty awesome to me. These are obviously the enemies here. Wow. There's a bunch of just jagged edges, sharp points. Lots of them. Huh. All right. Ooh. Now this guy looks sweet looking. Man. 
man, he would just be a blast of pain, I bet. Or a pain in the butt, I don't know which. He looks awesome. He, I think he looks awesome. All right, so got some wolves, some other enemies. Okay, here we go, some of the characters. All right, let's take a look at the one that I think everybody has, the, two of the ones that have the most contention on them. So, get the focus. Oh, the miniature actually doesn't look half bad. Again, it's got a unique style. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but that mini actually looks pretty neat looking, actually. I do like how they've kind of mirrored the, the aesthetic of the art to the model, I guess. But maybe it's the coloring? I'm not sure. That model does look actually pretty cool, though. I dig that. Now let's take a look at Bryn. This is the one with the crazy helmet. The art, I don't know if it really... I don't know really if the art translates to what this helmet is really for or anything. I mean, even if it was like suit backwards, that could have been cool. <laughs> Just to the side. Everything else though looks really neat on her though. Like the base is cool. Ugh. He's just awesome looking. Yeah, Phoenix just roaring out of there. Man, okay. Uh, I, I'm I'm okay with these minis. These are cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's kind of see if I can give a brief show of what the other minis look like. Kind of judge for yourself. Come on, get in the focus. There we go. What you think of these miniatures? I don't think they look bad. I think the miniatures... Man, like, like I said, there's just so many spiky bits, though. Wonder what, wonder what was up with that design. That guy looks awesome. Wow, cool. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this so far. Let's take a look at this guy. Just spiky parts and stuff. Got a base here. And some wings. Pops up pretty good in the insert too. So looks like it just slots here in the back. Alright, pretty cool. Looks like this goes down inside here just like that. Awesome. Gnarly, he's huge! He's pretty awesome, actually. That's a cool model. Uh, that's a cool model. I'm, I'm. This is a cool model. I like that. All right, so let's get down here to the, some of the nitty gritty with the boards. Quite a few, quite a few boards. So I know I was kind of worried about the different locations. Um, we'll, we'll do the punches here in a second. All right, other content. All right, we got some cards. We got the dice, the dials. Decent weight to them. Get the stars. Now, one thing that I've, I've kind of noticed is you've got, like on some of these, let's see if we can open them up here, you've got the success symbols and plus symbols, and I kind of had a hard time following along. Like when I see this symbol right here, you really got to pay attention to the star versus the plus. Kind of sometimes think that's just a little bit too close together of what these symbols look like. Lightning bolt obviously is completely different, but okay. Well, you've got the D12s, you got the D8s, and you've got the D6s. I don't really see any blanks on any of these. That's interesting. Very interesting. You get the standard uh, spindles here for the trackers. All right. So we got some cards. We'll go over those in a minute. More cards. We got looks like three packs of cards. Hmm. As many as I was expecting there to be. You get a looks like eight sleeves. I don't know if that's specifically you only need eight, unless you're gonna sleeve everything, or you have to have eight. No, you can flip some of the cards over, like the weapons and stuff. 
got here's the bases for huh they go underneath the characters there's the character cards themselves some water boards is there anything else underneath this no okay so when you take this off this is where i've had several people talk to me about all this wasted space but once you have the terrain built you've got a perfect storage solution now why i'm actually okay with this is i don't know how many times i'll get a game uh but perfect example shadows of brimstone unless i actually destroy the insert don't use an insert at all you can't put some of the built models back in the box so and even with imperial salt i mean you've got big creatures like the rancor who's just absolutely huge and as far as like fitting some of this stuff back into the box, it's like nigh impossible. And I worry about how am I going to put all this together? I don't want to have to have four or five different storage solutions for my one game. They've come up with a solution that actually does that. And people are upset about that. Now, I'm actually okay with the box being big enough to store all the components. What I'm not okay with so far is I paid $175 for one, two trays of miniatures, a couple packs of cards, some, some uh, three packs of cards and some character cards, and then a big enemy model, some dice and a couple rule books, and $175, and, okay, well, I haven't played it yet, now I've, I just downloaded the app on Steam, and that's how I'm actually going to be playing my copy, is on Steam. I've got a projector hooked up that I'm going to be able to play it on with that. But, again, is it a video game? Is it a board game? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's open up these tiles, and let's take a look at the thickness of the cardboard, how they punch, the tokens, the quality, location, see if we see anything for multiple... Now, I did actually load the app, and I do want to make sure you guys are aware there's little to no voice acting. There's a little bit when you first load it that kind of tells you some of the story, but as far as when the characters start talking to each other, um, there's no audio, and I was really disappointed in that. It's like, go ahead and just, if you're going to be, it cost me $175 for what I've got here physical-wise. You know, I mean, this is, what, 100 bucks. I mean, I think you get more in the original Descent box for the $100 price tag that was. I didn't know that was several years ago. So that, but then again, I'm paying $75 for a game. That's the video game portion of it. And I'm not getting the full voice acting. I mean, there's $60 games that come out that there's full voice acting for all the characters, all the dialogue, everything. And, and I'm, I'm paying a premium. So I don't know. Uh, pillars, these don't, these, well, Punched okay. Ooh, there we go. They punch all right. Let's see, oh, they got a little bit of hang on that one, so be careful. Big boards, good, decent thickness. You gotta work at it a little bit, but these are actually pretty good as far as thickness goes. Okay. So we've got double sided too, which is nice. Got some pillars. Okay, got some more tokens, got a grassy field. It's like an inside of like a tavern, more castle, muddish area, castle, more pillars, side tokens, more grassy fields. Maybe we'll set up a pretty large map, I think, once we get all this going, but we're seeing a lot of the same art so far. Doors there. I'm not seeing any like lava or anything, so. Hmm. Those are big dials. I'm okay with that. I have big hands. I hate when I have little spindle things. I dig that. That's okay. I'll take it. Some of the trees. Oh, that's got to be the dragon thing. He's gnarly looking. That's it. All right, so really three style of art, like location type things. The wood, well, I guess four. The wood, the castle, the uh, grassy fields, and the muddish area. So that's all the cardboard. Again, they, 
They punch okay. Bigger ones. I guess you just got you got to be real careful about how you punch these things. Some spikes there. He's gonna be pretty large, I think, but that's his backbone. So, all right. So let's take a look at some of the cards here. Let's go over the character cards first. What else we got in here? There we got some other. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's some lava, some magma, grass, or something. Some spike traps. That's pretty neat. Water, probably water, and water. These are real thin. Character cards as well, real thin. Especially if you're gonna be flipping these over all the time. Why not just make them thick for cardboard? Come on, guys. All right, we got Bryn. The Human Avenger, Varix, the Dragon Hybrid Outcast. We got Chance, the Henrix Rogue, Cyrus, the Human Prodigy, Kelly, Kali, Kali something, the Dwarf Artificer, and Galadin, the Elf Huntsman. I think that's the one everybody has the most contention with, the art and her helmet. Other than that, I don't find the art to be that bad. Um, again, but art is one of those subjective things. I, I'd rather see something different than the same old art style all the time, you know, but <sighs> it is what it is, I guess. So, all right, let's open this pack of cards. All right, so we got some reference cards, hero turn, hero conditions. So we've got, what are these? We've got they're different sides. Oh, see, so these are skill cards, okay, for each of the characters. A few skills, and especially if they're double sided. Those are scars, okay. Major scars. The different colors, that's good, I guess. Hmm. Card quality is the standard linen finish, which I do like. Um, Gonna have to sleeve all of these. I already know that for a fact. You need several packs, I guess. All right, so those are the skills. Play reference cards, some of the conditions, some of the uh, scars, if you will. All right, so here we go. Here's some. There's some potions. Hardened blade, the wing blade, the diamond blade, sister blade, weighted hammer, avenging hammer, martial hammer. That's cool. Barb knives. Really? <laughs> so, I'm not seeing any differences. Oh, the blades look a little different. Okay. So, what were the differences on those? Every single one of the other weapons have different art styles. The bows look cool. The bows, shield, runes. Awesome. Those are actually pretty neat. All right. And then last but not least, we got one more pack of cards to look through. Looks like we got some of the armors, dust plates, plate of bloodstone. Quite a few several potions that are the same. Well, grenades. Gotta love grenades. Consumable cards. Oops. Smoke bomb. Crimson potion. Guardian potion. Endurance potion and mud potion. Hmm. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, card quality, standard, lend and finish, thinner card stock, if you will, not real thick. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely function, but again, $175, premium product, where's the premium? All right, so this has been Will from Mature Mighty Gamers doing an unboxing for Descent, Legends of the Dark. 
What do you guys think of this one? Is you think it's worth the hundred seventy five dollars for the contents that you see here? I I don't know. I haven't gotten to play the game yet. Um, you know, for part of me, it is the dollar for the, the amount of hours that I play. This is just Act One, so their plans are to release more acts. I'm hoping. You know, part of me hopes this does well enough that they're going to continue to maybe uh, do Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, continue on with the story if it's good. I don't know. Maybe the story is not even fun at all. So um, I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Uh, what do you think of the art? What do you guys think of the contents? Is it worth 175 Are you getting it? If you did, why? And if not, why not? So we'd love to have that discussion with you. But until next time, everyone, stay safe and take care.